Did you know that simple kitchen herb might rival Rogaine at slowing baldness? Shocking, but true. And 2015 clinical trial found that rosemary oil achieved hair count gains comparable to 2% monoxyly over 6 months and caused lace itching. But is it too good to be true? Hi, my name is Mfon. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And in this channel, we focus on all things healthy. And today I'm diving into whether rosemary oil is really a credible treatment for alopecia. And if this video resonates with you, please take a moment and like the video, subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you. So what does the science say? The Panayi et al. 2015 random single blind trial with 100 men showed both rosemary oil and 2% monoxyly increased hair count significantly by six months with no significant difference between groups and less scalp itchy in rosemary group. A review 2004 to 2005 confirmed rosemary's bioactivity like caffeinic acid, rosemarinic acid, and 12 metoscasmonic acid. Possess anti inflammatory, antioxidant, and DHT inhibiting potential. In mouse models, rosemary leaves extract inhibit 5A reductase by over 82 to 94%, comparable to finasterides. Additional trial mixing rosemary with lavender or castor oil showed improvements in hair density, thickness, and growth rate in clinical settings. But the Panahi study had no placebo control. That is, hair counts were modest 5% and could reflect seasonal variability, not dramatic regrowth. So let's look at real world antidotes and experiences. In forms, some users say rosemary did nothing while monoxyly helped. Others report positive feedback like reduced shedding and improved thickness, you know, but expect mixed results. So looking at viral TikTok or news stories, Nia's year long use of six pounds boot rosemary oil gave noticeably shinier, longer hair. But a trichologist reminded us that oils condition hair. They don't stimulate follicles. Mihal Rosemary Mint goes viral with users claiming less shedding, fuller hairlines, three to six inches of growth. It blends rosemary with castor oil, coconut oil, peppermint, ojoba, nestle, etc. Experts caption that Rosemary alone isn't serious treatment for alopecia, especially androgenetic types. Many say it's unlikely to help if you already have diagnosed hair loss. So can rosemary oil treat alopecia? For androgenetic alopecia, that is male and female pattern baldness, there is some modest evidence like comparable results to 2% monoxyly in every case, but not the stronger 5% monoxyly typically prescribed. For alopecia arata, autoimmune patchy baldness, an older aromatherapy study combining rosemary with other essential oils helped 44% of patients regrow hair versus 15% with carrier oil alone. If your hair thinning is due to inflammation damage or scalp issues, rosemary's anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial properties may help provide a healthier scalp environment. So the bottom line is it may help slow shedding, support mild growth and soothe your scalp, but it is not a magic bullet, especially for advanced alopecia. So let's look at the power of rosemary combined with other oils. Rosemary ingredients inhibit 50 reductase almost as potently as finasteride in vitro as it may reduce DHT locally. Users forum. People combining rosemary oil with scalp massage, micro needling or demaroning report better results. Mechanical stimulation may enhance absorption and circulation. Products with rosemary plus Castro oil, peppermint oil, needle, 
aloe vera or jojoba oil often get more praise than rosemary alone. Combining vasodilatators, anti-inflammatory and conditioning oils seems synergistic. So let's look at expectations versus reality. Sometimes watching YouTube videos often promise visible regrowth in weeks. But in reality, studies show tiny gains like 5% over 6 months. So for me, my personal experience with rosemary has been amazing. Using it on my hair and on my daughter's hair and also the positive comments from people who have you know, used my rosemary product, who have made my rosemary product from watching my video. Different rosemary products and I'm going to link the video here. So let's look at monoxony, 5% of monoxony. More robust clinical data, stronger results, but more side effects. But when using rosemary oil, rosemary oil is gentler, fewer side effects, but slower, modest results. So I always encourage natural route. So how to use it safely? Number one, always dilute rosemary essential oil in a carrier oil like olive oil or ojoba oil. Example, five drops per teaspoon. Number two, patch test before full use to avoid dermatitis or irritation. Three, apply to scalp, not just hair. Give it a few hours or overnight before washing. Number four, combine with scalp massage or micro needling for better efficacy. Number five, be consistent. Use two to three times per week or daily for at least three to six months to give it time for it to work so my honest conclusion too much stretch calling rosemary oil a cure for alopecia is over promising but as a gentle natural alternative especially for early mild patterns of hair loss or for scalp inflammation it may be worth trying many people report conditioning thicker looking hair less shedding improve scalp health and in some cases a few baby hairs but again not dramatic regrowth in established bald patches the ideal approach is to use it as a supportive adjunct not a primary treatment combined with medical options example monoxoly five percent of it dht blockers dermatologist care for serious or long standing alopecia and always track your results remain realistic and be patient. So, is rosemary oil for alopecia a miracle? Probably not. But is it totally worthless? Also, no. It's a modest natural tool. Nothing more, nothing less. So, if you've used rosemary oil before, drop your experience in the comments. Did it help or disappoint? Let's discuss further. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more honest AK signs and myth busting. And if you want to know the video that I did and share the rosemary products, I will encourage you to watch this video right here. Thank you so much for watching. Now I'll talk to you in my next video.